Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am still sick. It's only been a few days. It's now the Tuesday after Easter. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm still losing my voice a little bit. So today's video is a bit of a pamper session for my old girl Summer slash giving a bit of an update on her. I started to film a video, uh, was it last week or the week before? It was last week. Oh my god, the shed door's about to close on me. Ah. Um, when I had taken Summer to the vets and had been given, oh, two weeks ago actually, it was two weeks ago today, um, when I had been given the go ahead with what was going on and things that might be wrong and things that, let me go back in here, uh, that we need to test for, etc., with Summer. But I was in an emotional mess and was crying and snotting everywhere and. I'm too insecure to put that up on the internet. So today I thought whilst I'm giving Summer a bit of a groom, a wash and using some really lovely products on her, I would um, stop and have a chat to the camera or chat whilst I'm doing it, who knows, um, and explain what's going on with her and why there's no written videos of her and that's a jealous Trixie. She needs a pamper, she'll be coming in soon. Um, but yeah, so why there's no written videos of her, why she's kind of disappeared off the channel. She's very much still here. There she is, munching away. So yeah, I'll get into the video. Let's just do a little bit of a close up on Summer. She isn't looking terrible, she actually looks quite good. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry. Stop drinking. I think she is looking very good. Just dirty. This tail needs to Good brush, she's got a bit of poop on her legs. Bite marks, kick marks. And she got bot flies, and I said to Trent then, I need to get my blade to get them out, but they're in my car, and my car is down at my in-laws, because we were at their Sedina last night, and I was so tired, so I left my car behind. But yeah, and I'm gonna attack this mane anyway. Probably gonna cut it short. So, I probably could cut these out. Yucky, horrible things. Are you right? You checked out the camera? You okay, back? You are like the entire shot right now. It's big head. It's big, beautiful head. Oh, coming back. Not funny. Please excuse my washing in the background as well, but I'm lazy and didn't take it in before I started filming. <laughs> So, I don't know whether any of you have watched my video with Trixie. I'm going to assume you didn't because I have like no views on it. Um, but I use this Hoss Gloss shampoo on all my horses. I also use it on the dogs because it's like medicated shampoo for dogs, horses, and cattle. And I just figured if they're a little bit itchy, it would feel good. And then I have this, oh God, I have this brush. It's kind of like a rubber curry comb. 
It's nothing easy to get a rattle in there. And we go to town before she keeps coming up. Alrighty, so while Summer's having a tantrum because she doesn't want to be tied up and she's just grumpy all the time, <laughs> um, the update on Summer was uh, she's been having lots of fights with her sister, naughty naughty, and she keeps coming off second best. So coming off second best, she's been having lots of swollen hind legs, lots of cuts, lots of bruising, um, lots of uh, lameness. So kept hosing, kept and kept doing everything um, and then she'd come sound again and then she'd have another fight with Trixie and she'd be lame and blah blah blah. So now we're kind of coming to the end of their fightings. Trixie's kind of top dog now and Summer just has to deal with it um, and in doing so they kind of have stopped fighting so I decided I'll do everything I can at home to tend to all her wounds but she was still just not becoming sound so I took her in to the vets to get them to do a um, lameness evaluation on her. And it came back that she has uh, laminitis in both front feet by the looks of it. Um, they can't confirm yet until x-rays are done and we waited forever for the x-ray machine, but it wouldn't work and they've only just got a replacement and now obviously I work um, more days a week. So I can't take her until probably next week. <laughs> so when I'm off on the Monday, Tuesday, um, so yeah, so laminitis in both front feet, um, so she'll need to have shoes on. So my fairy is coming at the beginning of May and I'll have front foot on her. And he's um, thinking she may have a fracture in her hind near leg. So again, confirm it, how bad, what, blah, 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 blah. Um, when we have x-rays, uh, what else did we say about you? Oh, we took bloods. We took some bloods because he wanted to check whether she was showing um, like she had Cushing's disease or the equine metabolic something or other. I don't know. I'll Google it, put it on the screen. Uh, so I took blood for that and he has since called me and said she has uh, tested negative to both of those. She's on the higher scale for Cushing's being that she's almost 20. Um, he just said, you know, we'll keep an eye on it and we'll test her more regularly. Um, 
so we can catch that early and she can get onto some medication. He did ask me what I wanted to do with her this year and I said, you know, just, just keep her happy if I can. That's my end goal. Like big dreaming goal would be to have done my 90 centimeter clear round on her. Um, but we're already in April and I haven't had a sample to ride. I think I've ridden her twice this year, three times this year actually. And the third time she actually fell on a trail ride and Trent had to come pick me up with the horse float. Don't know whether I've ever mentioned that in a video. So um, yeah, that was our last ride together, which was sucky because it wasn't a good end. Um, but yeah, he doesn't think she'll ever be competition sound again. He does think we can get her to the trail ride sound in the sense that she can just go for pods out in the bush, which I'm more than happy with because it's not the end of the road, if that makes sense. I still get to have a little play on her. Um, Trixie's got a bloody step up into some big, big shoes, hasn't she, huh? I, uh, it was actually my 11 year anniversary of owning her uh, last week, was it last week? Last Sunday, so the 28th of March. Um, that was when I signed the lease agreement back in 2010. So 11 years of like, having her in my life. Um, and I put a post up and I highlighted all of our amazing highlights that we've, we've done together, like pictures of our shows, pictures of the highest jumps, pictures of at the beach, pictures of cross country. Um, and so many people were commenting saying like, what a beautiful post and like a nod, nod of the head to what an amazing horse she's been and um, what an amazing 11 years I have had with her, which I cannot fault. Um, obviously there has been shows and rides and tantrums along the way. I'm not saying she's completely smooth sailing, because she's definitely not. Um, but looking back on everything that we have achieved together, I am so lucky. She has turned her hoof to everything for me. Okay. Yeah. And now you get to chill in a paddock and get pulled out for the off trail ride, okay? Yeah. You are a good girl, really. Look, she's like, I don't want you to cuddle. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm going to quickly go and grab some conditioner. I never normally condition my horse's coats, but seeing as she's not being ridden, so I don't put conditioner on because it always makes my saddle slip. So, um, being that I don't have to worry about that, I'm gonna quickly go and grab some conditioner and give her a once over with that, and then I'm gonna start attacking her mane and tail. Okay? Okay.
Alrighty, I am a little beetroot. I always get really hot out in the sun. Don't do very well with heat. Um, summer is almost dry now. I'm going to go around and attack her mane. As you've just seen, I've just attacked her tail, so I'm gonna let that dry before I add any beautiful high shine product. The high shine product I'm thinking of adding is the Moisture Plus. So I've always used the Silk Serum or whatever it's called. Oh, I'm still in pants and they're biting me. Liquid Silk. Um, that's what I always use on Trixie. But today I wanna to try this one. So I bought the Moisture Plus. It's a luxury, look, <laughs> A luxurious blend of natural oils with avocado, coconut, and doja bar. Uh, Moisture Plus is a lightweight, non greasy, fast absorbing blend of luxury natural oils, including avocado, coconut, doja bar, and perilla seed. It is the perfect tonic for dry skin and hair, adding a healthy natural gloss. Directions apply Moisture Plus by hand or with cloth to affected areas. So I'm going to pop this in her mane and tail. Her body doesn't really need it, she's pretty pretty good and I will just be using the high shine uh, showtime coat oil which is actually not on the market anymore and I've just found a second bottle of it that I have which I lost and I found it so I'm super duper happy because it is super rare and people want it still because it's such a good product and I'm like haha um so yeah here we go summer's looking beautiful she's so soft super soft alrighty Let's attack this main. I'm sorry, Summer, you're gonna have to dodge your head. I promise I'll try and fix it. So I was like, what is that noise? Come on. I need your head Oh, God, I think I've That's not too bad. Yeah, then we go a little bit drunk in the middle here. And then this one needs to. The layers. <laughs> Oops, some are you <laughs> That's right, look, it blends in, you can't even see. There you go. Is your pony? No, you bought them. Are you going to wrap them back? Rip out? Rip out? Rip out? Rip out? It's okay. You're alright. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Good girl. I Cheeky. Don't fight me. Your mouth. This is much better for this. Ah -ah. Yeah! Yay! 
<laughs> you all right. That was enough. That was enough. You were out. Alrighty, Trent's taking a year. I could actually hate it. Wow. Hey. Oh, some hates it. She's done. I think it's actually not too bad. It's not the worst I've done. It's probably one of the best because let's face it, I'm not very good at doing mains, but I'm not angry with it. It's a nice manageable length for her. Pretty much all the butterfly eggs, there's like two in her mane there, are out, which is fabulous because I'll get my knife out and attack them later, but I'm not angry with it. Now I'm gonna put some of this oil in. So, shake it, I can, Mm, I can smell it. it, smells good. Hang on. Let me put, yeah, there's my. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, there it is, in my hand. Oh, it's dripping out my hand. Probably should have rubbed my hands together. Oh. Hello. Oh God, it smells so good. Is this my new favorite smelling of their products? Who knows? I do love the liquid silk. This smells really yummy. I don't smell avocado. That's one of the smells. Definitely don't smell avocado. Oh, it's not one of the smells, it's one of the extracts. It smells more fruity than or like sweet than avocado-y. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Look at that. Look at the shine. I know it's oil, of course oil is gonna add in shine, but it's really lightweight. Like, it's not making her hair stick together. It's nothing like that. Oh, hello. Can you put your mane back in the sun, Bubba? picking up any shine, it's not going to pick up any shine. There's no shine in it. Excuse me. Yeah, so I thought. Alrighty guys, sorry about the background. This is how much I have just used coating summer in, summer, blah, 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 summer's entire body. Like, that's it. So that was, who 50 mil? 50 mil of the high shine show time, which like I said, is not available anymore. Um, and then I just buffed it into her, her entire body. You can see it's still drying on her bum there a bit. I put some on her face, she's not happy. Ugh, yeah, yo. <laughs> oh, I love her. But yeah, it, just everything of theirs goes such a long way. You've now seen how much I've used of everything. Um, now I'm just going to put some hoof oil on her and take some photos. Here we go, guys. She gumpy. Look at her. So shiny and fresh. Hello. Can we move your tail into the sun? Come on. Good girl, I know it's sore, I know it's hard. Oh, it's a shame. It's a fresh. Alrighty. Go take some photos. Alrighty guys, thank you for coming along and watching this video. I'm super hot and sweaty. There you go, Pumba. Oh God, no. 
That's a really big carrot. She just it's gone. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Summer didn't. <laughs> she's like, whatever. Put me back in the paddock. I'm done. Uh, she's looking amazing. Shiny, shiny. Nice and fresh. I'm not too angry about the mane. I didn't do such a terrible job. So she definitely deserves a bit of a pamper. And a bit of one on one time, seeing as it's now been all about Trixie. And the only time she's had one on one time is to go to the vets and farrier. So, thank you for watching. Let me see if she'll let me come stand with her because she's cute like that. Um, she's too cute. Thank you again for watching, like I've just said several times. Uh, hopefully, you'll come back and watch more of my videos. If not, that's cool, whatever. You're the one missing out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. If, please, 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 please give a big thumbs up on my videos it means so much to me like even seeing a view on my video means so much to me like what the heck <laughs> people actually want to watch my stuff so um yeah a thumbs up is like oh ah, makes my day every time I see a view come in or every time I see a thumbs up Meg just seriously get out of this face uh it is just the the most amazing feeling because really, I really didn't think my YouTube channel would do anything. I keep putting things on it and I'm just like, meh, one day, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I'll pop her away now. She's come over to be like, what the heck? You stink. Oh. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye.